friends, what up and welcome back. It is, as you can see from the title of the video, this is going to be a haul video. Um, also, none of that stuff in the box actually came from Sephora. It was just the biggest box that I had, so I decided to use it. And it is also about midnight, or pretty close to midnight, and um, I'm trying to be real quiet about everything, so if you can't hear me, my bad. I'm really sorry about that, but <clears throat> the reason I'm doing the video tonight is because I really, really, um, it's a lot of stuff that I have to get through, so, um, and I have a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow, plus I want to start a wear test on some of the things that I, I, I got, so I'm gonna do the haul video tonight, and, um, then we can go from there. So, if you want to see that, stick around, and while you're sticking around, hit the subscribe button, fam, hit the subscribe, come on, just, please, please. Okay. And leave a comment in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up. But if you want to see all the crap that I wasted my money on, it's coming right up. So you thought when you told me not to get that bunch of stuff that I wasn't going to get anything at all. I feel like y'all don't know me real well if you thought that was going to happen. So I went ahead and I got a bunch of different things. I did still get some of the stuff that I said that I wanted to get, but I didn't get everything. Um, I did also get some skincare, so we're going to start off with the skincare. It's not a whole lot of so skincare. I basically um, got new Pyongyang Yul acne products from Urban Outfitters. And I also got this Sweet Chef um, Vitamin C Serum from uh, Urban Outfitters as well. This is supposed to help um, clear up dark spots and... Uh, uneven skin tone and I'm not really sure about this yet it's one fluid ounce and it looks like this but I'm not really sure about this I feel like it's making me a little bit greasy and on usually when I use stuff my skin is like real reactive so I can see right away whether or not it's working and I don't really see anything and I do feel a little bit greasy. It's a little bit hard to work in also so I'm not really sold on it but I'll keep using it just to see. It's really thick and I kind of don't like the consistency. It's kind of hard to work into the skin but we're, we're, we're going to play with it and see what happens. Um, the Pianca and Yule stuff I got a toner from the new Acne line. It looks like this. Um, I don't like this toner but it is a really good. I prefer the consistency of the Essence Toner. This one is much more watery than that one, but I poured it into a bottle and used it like a mist. But I don't really like this one, but it does work really, really well because it's spring and pollen is out in the air. And as soon as pollen hits my skin, I start to break out. And I had a line of breakouts right here and like all over my face. And the day after I started using this, they had started to go down. But the bottle is also quite leaky, and even as I'm holding it right now, I don't know if you guys can see, it's just like leaking out, so I don't know about this either. The last thing that I got skincare-wise was this Pianca Nul, um Acne Facial Cleanser. This is more along the lines of um, facial cleansers that I normally use. Um, I still use the other one that I had gotten before, but I don't really like it. Uh, it doesn't really get rid of makeup, so I wound up having to use something else. Um, and I, I just don't like the way it makes my face feel squeaky clean. And this is more of that soft cleanser. And, uh, when I first started using it, it was really weird because I had to get used to using a soft cleanser again. But, let me see if I can just... It's clear. It looks like that. Um, it's a gel. And you just kind of rub it in. And it doesn't really suds, but it does a really, really good job. And I do like it, like I said, you know, with the pollen and stuff like that, it's done really nicely for my skin. It doesn't strip it or anything like that. And I don't get that squeaky clean feeling, which I don't like anyway. Um, so this one is really, really good for me. So I really do like okay. this. Onto the makeup. But first, this is not necessarily skincare, um, but it kind of is, I guess. Um, have you guys ever heard of Lolila? Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but they have the most divine fragrances. I use the scent In Love, which is um, jasmine, and I'm obsessed with jasmine. Anything jasmine, perfume, body oil, anything whatsoever. I used to use the NYX, um, I forgot what it's called, the, prodig the prodigious oil. 
and it is $54 and it really didn't do a very very good job it smelled great like the scent of jasmine was kind of strong and I liked it but it really didn't do anything my skin was like still really dry and then I found this on I believe I found it on anthropology um yeah on anthropology and I also use the cologne well not the cologne the perfume it looks like this and it's jasmine scented like I said but I just don't like this bottle but I just re-upped on this I just finished the one that I had it looks like this it's a glass bottle it is it is an absolutely wonderful oil. It's a dry oil. It absorbs really well, but it also keeps your skin very, very moisturized, which for, you know, a girl with ashy skin, it's kind of a good thing. This is, I believe this is 42, and you get 6 ounces, I believe. Is it 6 ounces? How much? You get 6.8 fluid ounces, and it is $42. The next one you get, I believe, 4 ounces. You get 4 ounces in the next one. So this is a better value, and it does a better job. Okay, so I did wind up getting a bunch of foundations. I'm sorry. It's what I do. I like foundations. Um, I did wind up getting that Stila foundation that a bunch of you said not to get. However, however, I didn't pay for it. I hit up my friend who is... A large influencer and she got it in PR um, so she sent me number six um, in fact she had asked she had five and six and she asked me if I wanted five and six and I was like no six will be fine and I got six and I believe that it might be a little bit too dark <sighs> but whatever um, so got this haven't tried it yet and still waiting to see you know I'm actually I don't even really know what I'm waiting for I think I want you guys to tell me um, which ones you want to see first probably not this one because this one has been making around but um, keep a list real quick and let me know which one of these foundations you want to see first so the first one is going to be this the first one is the Stila um, lingerie souffle and this is in the shade number six the next foundation that I got is a new foundation from Smith and Colt, like I don't know if you guys know that Smith and Colt makes makeup. A lot of people know Smith and Colt for their um, nail polish, which is really really good nail polish, by the way. Um, and they they've been doing, have they been they've been doing makeup for a while. Um, the thing that they had that I've used before, I don't know where it is. I was looking for it earlier and I can't find it. But I do have an eyeshadow palette from them, which is okay. It's not, I don't know, like it's not anything to write home about it's just an eyeshadow palette and they also have this book of bronzers that they have as well that I do have but I haven't tried that one yet so I don't know and now they've come out with foundations they've come out with cream blushes powder blushes which I may look into they also came out with three different primers one of which I'm probably still gonna get oh also I forgot to mention I do have some other stuff coming in the back to this foundation so this foundation comes in I believe 40 shades I'm not sure we're not doing a review right now so it doesn't matter but I got one of these it is $42 and I got the shade um, 410 warm which looks like this this looks remarkably to me like the bare minerals um, what's it called I forgot whatever the bare minerals foundation this looks a lot like like it um, I was trying to get either this shade or 370 tan which is tan with peachy undertones but it was not available um, when I went to get it so I picked this one up instead because everything in between these those two shades was either neutral or pink red undertones so hopefully this works we shall see now I don't know if you guys know Rodile Rodile is like a, a UK company they do a lot of skincare I think they do have their skincare in um, in Ulta now they came to Ulta like a, a little while ago usually I get my skin my Rodale skincare from um, Space NK which is the only place that I've known of that they sell it but I do think they sell it at Derm store as well um, however I don't particularly like Rodale skincare um, I think it's just okay I think it's a little bit overpriced um, but people swear by it, so whatever. It's not terrible. I've never had a, a bad reaction to any of their skincare. I just think it's overhyped. But they have been dabbling in makeup um, here and there for the last couple of years. Um, and I had wanted to try their... Um, they had a, a foundation that was like the Kevin O's 
Oquan um, Central Skin Enhancer, the tiny one, but I never did get around to getting it, and then they had um, some some blushes as well, but they've gradually been expanding their makeup range, and um, a couple of months ago they came out with the Diamond Concealer, which I got, the last shade, which is shade 50. <laughs> it's going to be funny when you see this. Um, and then I got the new Diamond Foundation, which just came out maybe about a month ago. Now, I'm pretty sure I got the wrong color. Um, this color is about two shades too dark for me, but I'm still going to ro rock it anyway. So, yeah, well, there's probably a little bit more than two shades too dark for me. <laughs> it, for once, for once, website swatches were actually correct. So I don't know if I'm going to try this or I am going to um, get another one, the one before this from Space NK, and, and try that one instead, but we shall see. So there's this and the concealer. Let me know the order that you want to see all this stuff in. Oh, also forgot to say the Ilia concealer that I told you guys that I was going to get. I wanted to get two of them. One of them is on back order, so I will be ordering that this week. So I will have that as well. And speaking of Ilia, um, I did also get their new True Skin Priming Radiant. Wait, what? The True Skin Radiant Priming Serum which looks like this, so I will be trying this out um, sometime soon. And then another uh, priming serum I got, I got the e.l.f. Glow Up Priming Serum, so I have two priming serums. Let me know which one you guys want, you guys want to see first. I believe this is 52 and this is 10. Ilya also came out with new complexion products. They came out with new, um, what are these called again? Multi-sticks. They came up with new multi-sticks. Um, they came up, came out with um, two new multi sticks. One of them used was a part of a palette. It's called Dreamer, and I'm actually going to get that one as well when I get the concealer. And then they came out with a new um, highlighter, which I didn't get, and I don't know if I'm going to get. I might get it. I'm not sure. It seems a little bit too dark for me, um, so maybe I won't get it. I don't know. But this is Ladybird. This is not technically new. It is new to me, and it looks like this. This is the multi-stick in Ladybird. And then the new highlighter for summer. It's called Stella by Starlight. It's a peachy champagne, I believe. I haven't even looked at this yet, so I don't really know. Um, and it kind of looks like a muted version of uh, Sway to me. But, you know. So... I will be using that in a video sometime soon, so you guys will get to see what it looks also like. Also from Rhode Isle, I got their new um, I Woke Up Like This palette. This palette is $55. It has a bronzer, a contour, two blush shades, and uh, two highlighter shades. This is what it looks like. This is what $55 of luxury makeup looks, looks like, ladies and gentlemen. It's quite tiny. It's quite tiny. Packaging is pretty, though. Um, and this is what the inside looks like. So contour, bronzer, blush one, blush two, highlighter one, highlighter two. Pretty tempted to send this back without using it. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And finally, I got the ABH Riviera palette. Now, I'm not really sure that I'm actually going to do a look with this for you guys because, like, honestly, you guys don't even know what's been going on on Twitter. Like, Norvina has been sending out um, PR calls. And the looks that have been submitted are, like, bomb. Like, they are fire. Almost all of them. And so, I'm just kind of like, everybody's done it. There's no point in me doing it. If you feel differently, let me know. But at, at, as of this point... I'm just like not inspired to use this palette anymore. It, it's just, it's a lot. Sometimes things can become too much, but um, you guys probably already know what it looks like. I have used it before. I used a little bit, not, in, I played around. So this is what it looks like. It's a really, really pretty palette. But like I said, everybody's been using it and doing their thing, and I'm just kind of like very uninspired 
for you know the whole thing but if you guys want to see then I will come up with something for you um something that's not pink or purple because that's literally what everybody else is doing so yeah yeah okay now let's talk about the things that I still have coming I'm gonna throw some pictures up here so you guys can see them once again the two Marc Jacobs um, touch up stick concealer things are coming maybe probably sometime will they come next week I don't even know probably not maybe I don't know so those two are coming um what else? Oh, I did get two of the new, um, I forgot what they're called, Makeup Revolution palettes, two new ones. And then I also, I'm thinking about ordering Tammy's new palette, also Makeup Revolution. I don't know yet because I think one of these actually has a whole lot of the colors that are in her, so I'm not sure if it, does, if it even makes any sense for me to get it. Um, then I am getting, there was something else. Oh yeah, the Ilia concealer and the new um the Ilia concealer and the new highlighter and uh no, not the new highlighter, the Dreamer multi stick, maybe the highlighter. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. So those are coming in. I'm pretty sure there were some other things as well. I just can't remember what they are. I've been on kind of a tear for the last two weeks. It's like literally every time I've taken a break from work, I've been shopping. Anyway, that's it for this little haul video. Um, if you need more detail, like I said, it's 12 o'clock, so I'm kind of rushing through this. I don't know why. Maybe because, like, everybody's sleeping and I feel really self-conscious about, like, making noise. But anyway, if I left anything out that you guys want to know, just ask in the comment section. You guys know I'll answer. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this. As usual, it's been fun. What? <sighs> Alright, guys. Good night. Bye.